Okay, so what we're going to be fitting uh, is a 19-way fuse box board uh, with an SPD installed yeah. source. Inside the board is a meter tails clamp. Loads of people have seen these all over the shop. So we're going to be using a tails gland that's going to be going in here, and then we're going to knock out these two and because we're going to mount this on a bit of a standoff board. So these are the RCBOs that we're going to be fitting. Okay, first things first, we're going to be knocking this out. Obviously using the right tool for the job. What you want to do is try and make sure that the two larger holes on the, on the actual gland inside are towards the back because once you've done that, the meter tails are tucked behind the DIN rail a bit, bit easier. Okay, so that's one of them. Believe it or not, these are quite tricky to actually get on. Okay, so we're onto the meter tails now, 25 mil meter tails that we're using. And then we've got some 16 mil uh, earth as well. So I always start with the actual neutral itself. I always bend it over sort of a palm's width. So as you've bent it, you'll notice that some of the cores are all on different lengths now, whereas they weren't before. We need to make sure that it's, they're all flat and level. Okay, so into the main switch. Okay, so that's all the bits of copper out. What I've done with that, I always bring my main earth in, in, bring it along the bottom, curl it up here, and then I label all these up as well, so you'll have water bond uh, and gas bond, but there's no gas in this one, so it would just be water bond. So what I normally do, so you start with your highest loads all the way working that way normally. Stick it in there. So as you're pushing it along, you're tucking it behind all the DIN rails. You'll see how it loses all that. You won't see any of that at the bottom. Um, and then you just basically work your way along. So next one. And then basically that's it. So you just keep working and working and working until you've got them all loaded up and then you can get your buzz bar on. Okay, so the RCBOs are all in. So, buzz bar. We've actually got a larger end, and obviously then all the rest are all exactly the same. So the larger end goes in, as you can imagine, onto the main switch. Okay, torque screwdriver. Obviously on here, we've got a, a set uh, measurement. So the main switch is 2.5 Newtons. So I've got two and a half, two Newtons across, across here, um, and then these go down to 1.2. You whack your buzz bar cover on. That's basically how you build up your board, ready to go. So yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, if you've learned something great, um, if you've got something that you want me to perhaps try on a different one, let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.